What if I told you that there was something you could do that would save you time and help you be even more creative with your Show It website? Would I be your new best friend? Well, in this video and the next few videos, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Are you ready? Let's do it. Tell me if this scenario sounds familiar. You've built out your website and you've just, you, you've created an amazing About Us page. And on your About Us page, you have a list of all your employees, right? There's Jen, there's John, there's Jeremy, there's other J-named employees because you tend to favor folks with that letter in their first name. But you get it all worked out, it's all good to go, it's all looking great, but then John comes in and says, you know what, I'm putting in my two weeks. So then what do you gotta do? You gotta go back to your website, you gotta remove John from the About Us page, and then you gotta shift everybody up and over to fill in the spot that John wants filled. It takes time, it feels a little bit cumbersome, right? And, you know, thankfully we show it, it's not super difficult, but it probably takes more time than what you would hope to spend whenever somebody comes or goes into your business. Or let's say you've got a specific type of blog post that you're, you're wanting to call out. You're wanting to look different from the rest of the other blog posts on your show at websites, but y you feel kind of stuck. What do you do? Well, there's good news for you, my friend, and that good news comes wrapped in something called the WordPress custom post type. The custom post type is the perfect tool, the perfect key for scenarios like those and for many others. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today in this video. And it's also what I'm gonna show you how to implement on your Show It website in the next few videos. And it's surprisingly very simple to accomplish with your Show It website. But I wanna go down and, and, and get in the nitty gritty to show you exactly what I'm talking about because I have a sense that just by you kind of looking at WordPress and understanding what it is that I mean by this, you're gonna understand just how powerful this tool is going to be for you in your website. All right, so here I've got a pretty standard WordPress dashboard. And if you've ever logged into the WordPress side of your website, this looks super familiar. Now, the, the really cool thing about WordPress is the fact that it updates content dynamically and content is king in the internet today, right? So the more content you have, the more people can find you on the internet, the more they can engage with you, learn to love you, buy stuff from you, all those wonderful things. So you want to add a lot of good content to your website. The problem is if you're doing it all from static pages, that can be a lot of work, right? WordPress takes care of all that for you. You don't got to do that stuff, right? You come in, you add a blog post, and it goes to your blog page without you having to think about it. Or let's say you've got a post that you don't want to have out there anymore. You just come in, you delete it, and on your blog page, it's not there anymore. You didn't have to go in to show it. You didn't have to delete stuff. You didn't have to move things around. But what if you've got some content or like a, a different type of thing that you want to show up and you, you you want it to look different than all of your blog posts, like, like a podcast, right? You, you've got a podcast, you want to put all of those episodes on your website so people can find you so that you get that good SEO and that, uh, that good organic traffic coming from the internet, but you want to differentiate your podcast episodes from your blog post. Well, that's the perfect scenario for a custom post type. That way you don't have to go into your post, create a blog post, and then like tag it with a podcast category, right? You can have a completely separate place that you put your podcast, like you can see down here. Or let's talk about team members because that's another good example. 
let's say you want to add a list of team members and, you know, a team at a company can be kind of dynamic. People can find new jobs or maybe change positions. And so you don't have to go back into your show at website and change those things out every time that happens. This is where custom post type works beautifully. So let me just show you the possibilities before we dive in too deep so you can kind of understand how to use this tool, right? We've got our blog post here and we've got our blog page. It looks pretty standard. I'm using the Monstera uh, free template from our Show It Design Store, okay? And you've got all your blogs, they're showing up. You got a sidebar here that's got categories, that's got different things. This looks nice. Well, for our team members, that's we, we don't want it to look like a blog list, right? That'd be kind of weird. We don't want to tag <laughs> a, a blog post with a, a team member's category or whatever, right? We want it to look just vastly different because that's what people would come to expect when they're learning about you and your company. So if we go to my about page here, you'll see, lo and behold, here's all my team members. Now, this isn't static content. I didn't go in to show it and add each of these images and names and, 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 and uh, employee titles one by one. No, I did that all from within WordPress, right? So if you go over here to team members, you can see I've got Ryan, I've got Candace, I've got Alan, and there they all showing they're all showing up dynamically on my website through a WordPress custom post type. And if I click on these, this doesn't look like a blog post, right? Let's go back over here and click on a blog post. This is what a blog post looks like. And here's what a team member post looks like. It's, it's drastically different because you're not going to write out, a, you know, 2,000 words for a team member. It's going to be a quick snippet about who they are, what they do, right? Maybe a little bit about their family and how their kid always picks their nose at the company luncheon. I don't know. But it's going to be different. Well, this was all dynamically generated from within WordPress. So let's say, let's say we add a new employee. What does that look like here? I've got Alice here ready to go. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to click publish. We're going to update that. And now let's go to the team members page and refresh. There is Alice. And I got to fix that real quick because that is not quite right. <laughs> Let me go in here and I'm going to change this to Alice is our accountant. I think that's what Alice does for us. So I'll update that and then that should show correctly. There you go. So do this and then that shows up the correct way. But we don't want to have Alice beneath Alan, right? Like, because an accountant is kind of a more senior position than an admin. So what do we do? I don't have to go back in to show it, move her around, and then move Alan down. I just come over to team members, and I move her up. And then I come back over, and boom, all is right with the world. Great. So hopefully the, the wheels are kind of spinning. You're kind of starting to understand just how you can use the WordPress custom post type in your own Show It website. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a custom post type of your own on your Show It website. So stay tuned, I'm gonna walk you through it. It's not gonna to be too difficult and you're gonna walk away feeling like a website pro. So click the next video and let's get started.